Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. I'm an engineer, and I'm not an idiot. Huh. Hey, I heard that. And I have a reading comprehension at least two years ahead of other kids in my grade. So why do I have so much trouble with this drone regulation about how high drones can be above structures and buildings? 90125, as I recall. Well, let's find out. I got a lot of feedback on this point, both in the study guide and on the uh, follow-up video that I did a couple of days later. So I went to Transport Canada because I wanted to hear it from the horse's mouth. All right, so here's the beast, the regulation regarding maximum altitude. 90125, subsection one. Subject to subsection two, no pilot shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft at an altitude greater than A, 400 feet, 122 meters above ground level or B 100 feet 30 meters above any building or structure if the aircraft is being operated at a distance of less than 200 feet 61 meters measured horizontally from the building or structure. Now subsection 2 says a pilot may operate a remotely piloted aircraft at an altitude greater than those set out in subsection 1 that's this part, if the operation is conducted in accordance with a special flight operation certificate, our pass issued under section 903.03. Right, okay, so let's pick this apart. Well, I think we can kind of safely put aside subsection two for the moment, because that's basically if you've got an SFOC. Let's look at these little bits. So it says you can fly at an altitude, no, sorry, no, you can't fly at an altitude greater than 400 feet or, and here's the problem, the magic word or, or 100 feet above any building or structure if the aircraft is being operated within this horizontal radius or distance from the building. So I originally interpreted this as, well, you can either be 400 feet up, maximum, or 100 feet above any building or structure. So if there's a building or structure, you can't be any higher than 100 feet. Clearly, that's what the word or means. Well, apparently that's not really what they mean. Here's what they really mean in Don's simple language. So there's the old one. What they really mean is that your maximum altitude is the greater of 122 meters or 400 feet, or 30 meters or 100 feet above buildings or structures within when within 61 meters horizontally. Okay, still, still a little confusing, so let's draw a diagram. Here's the normal case. You can normally fly 400 feet or 122 meters above the ground. And if there's little buildings down there, apparently they don't matter, okay? The only time when this second clause kicks in is when you have a really tall structure. Now I've drawn a cell phone, a cell tower here. They're not usually quite as tall as I'm showing, but you get the idea. If you've got a really tall structure, then as soon as you come within 200 feet or 61 meters of it, you can then fly 30 meters or 100 feet above the top of it, even if that height is above the 122 meters or 400 feet. It's as if there's a little bubble around buildings and you can go higher than the 400 feet if, if required to clear them. All right, so that's why I word it as the maximum altitude is the greater of 122 meters or 30 meters above buildings or structures when within 61 meters of them horizontally. Hey, a picture's worth a thousand words. And I think it's a lot clearer now to me. I hope it is to you. If not, drop me a comment below and I'll try one more time. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe below. And if you want to be notified of a new video from me, tick the little bell beside the subscribe button. Thank you again for watching.